an outpouring of grief. Loved ones gathering to remember a barbershop owner gunned down outside his business. The suspected shooter appearing before a judge today, and police say it all started as a dispute over noise. Local 10 News reporter Louis Aguirre live now in Northwest Miami Dade with the details for us tonight. Louis. And that noise, that music, uh, continues into the late hours here in Northwest Miami Dade. That suspect, Adrian Dorta Martinez, sits in jail, no bond, facing a first degree murder charge for alleg allegedly shooting a man that was beloved by so many, not just here in his Dominican community here in South Florida, but in New York back in his native DR. A man loved by so many and whose presence is definitely missed. <laughs> Overcome with grief, family, loved ones and friends gathered outside Luigi's Clippers Barbershop in Northwest Miami-Dade to honor a young man loved by so many and so violently taken away much too soon. I've had people come up to me saying how he helped them make rent, how he bought their son a pair of shoes to play baseball. He's affected so many people. 35-year-old Juan Luis Martinez shot and killed Tuesday afternoon after an ongoing altercation with a neighbor escalated in gunfire. The alleged shooter, Adrian Dorta Martinez, son of that neighbor. Detectives say Dorta Martinez became enraged after the victim had another fight with his father because of loud music being played at the barbershop. Dorta Martinez reportedly confronting the victim and then started shooting. They always, since the second he opened the shop here, had something against them. The candlelight vigil going on into the late hours Wednesday night with loud music playing. <laughs> Martinez, also a popular Instagram comedy blogger, La Garata Films, with almost 200,000 followers. Many who came didn't even know him well, but knew Martinez brought laughter and love to many and also gave so much back to his community. He used to take care of my brother-in-law and he he was an amazing human being. Why did so many people come out today, you think? Respect, I think, and by the, by the love he showed everyone. The love he showed everyone. Martinez leaves behind a five-year-old daughter and his girlfriend, the mother of that five-year-old little girl. Right now they're planning his funeral back in his native DR, but they have no idea how they're going to pay for this. They've set up a GoFundMe account if you'd like to help them. We have that link available on our website, local10.com. We're live in Northwest Miami Day tonight. Louis Aguirre, Local 10 News. Oh, such a sad story. Thank you, Louis.